Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org. This is Danish and in this video I will be explaining what is Azure Technical Skills for IT Professionals V1.0 course on jobskillshare.org. So let's get started. This course is designed for IT support professionals and systems administrator but anyone can take this course. This course is not focused towards any Microsoft certification like AZ-104 or AZ-900. Basically, this is the course that if you are currently working in a help desk environment or IT support environment and you are coming across Azure Active Directory or app services or the things that you are seeing in your job but you are actually not fully ready to go for a full certification learning right now. You just want to know some of the things or the projects or some of the more important things in Azure related to your career, specifically IT support or systems administration. And this is where we are. Most of our IT support professionals are right now in a hybrid situation. And suddenly we are being forced towards this new technology now. And that's happening on a daily basis now. And now you're concerned about your career that how do I really go ahead and start learning about Azure technology. Now, if you are serious about Azure and you want to learn this in a more detailed way, I would highly recommend you go for AZ-104 or AZ-900 and you want to do that more in a detailed method, just how Microsoft have provided. Now the great thing about JobScript Share, we are already creating an AZ-104 and a full uh, certification focus course, but still we are going to be focusing more on our real world courses. Uh, but in that we are still going to be covering a lot of theory and what is cloud, different type of model services, benefits of cloud, all that stuff will be covered. But this course is specifically designed like any other courses that we have done in our platform. Like for example, Help Desk Technical Skills V1.0 course. In that course, we teach things that it's very important for you in your career, and but a lot of certifications don't cover it, like Active Directory, Office 365, some of the imaging methods, different type of methods that we are seeing in our career that were not there. So that's how we create our courses. Now, why is JobSkillShare teaching this course? As you can see, Microsoft is moving from traditional management to more of a modern, which is a cloud-based management. As you can see on the left side, we have Active Directory Group Policy, which we are still using right now heavily. And we call this a hybrid type of scenario. As you can see here, hybrid uh, situation where a company is using an Active Directory and Azure Active Directory. They're using Group Policy and they're using Azure uh, you know, policies and things like that, security. And now they're using uh, certain things on on-premises and for emails, they're using Office 365. So this is why it's important because the current systems administra administrators or uh, you know IT support professionals are in the middle right now. Um, they're not hiring a one person for just Active Directory on on-premises and another person for Active Directory on on cloud. They are actually telling this same person to just learn this from the blogs or from some trainings or go take the uh, you know AZ one of four certifications. And this is where the confusion is because a lot of people they do projects over here they do different things and when you go for the certification route um, that's very targeted towards cloud only and a lot of things are missing so this is why it's important for us for our members to now start taking this type of courses because you need to now move up or move uh, your skills to a more modern type of skills now that's not only the reason because if you look at it uh, right now most of the titles, even a basic title, this, this has nothing to do with a cloud title, which is say IT help the specialist, help the administrator. They're putting uh, things like knowledge of Microsoft Azure cloud technologies. And another one will say, okay, we need a person who have, uh, you know, some type of experience. We prefer that. So this is the reason for this course on jobskillshare.org. This course is designed for people who already have on-premises knowledge. What do I mean by that? I mean by this is that if you are new to technology, this course is not for you. Yes, you can take it just to understand how things work in, in cloud and Azure specifically. But if you're brand new, then I highly recommend you join our platform and you become at least a plus member because 
with this membership you get to access all the video courses with premium you get to access labs but in this specific course we won't have labs because this is more of like a microsoft technologies we are going to teach you all the skills but you will be using your own subscription to do this but again it's your choice but my recommendation to you is that join this program once you join this program then once you go to the dashboard if you're brand new to technology you need to start from this program which will lead you to a learning path these are multiple courses that are going to cover some of the technologies like ticketing system active directory office 365 so you're already touching cloud and you're going to be already kind of phased into the cloud and then you can take this course this course is not for beginners you really need to understand what is cloud the basics of clouds and we will have a course for that as well this course is for someone who is already working in IT or maybe they want to add something new to their resume um, for that purpose yes you can take it but for skills purpose I highly recommend that you should be in this program first finish this program these are multiple courses this is going to take you three to six months to finish it uh, if you are already aware of basic technologies this can be quicker than that but if you're brand new then uh, you should be here and then when you finish this program and get a job and let's say you spend about six months and your start or six months or if you're actually working in Azure you you're currently seeing that you're actually working in Azure Active Directory you're adding users you're adding some of the groups in app services you're restarting some of the services in Azure and you're like wondering how do I really do this stuff then I would highly recommend you should take this course because the, of course even though this course is not going to teach you theories and do things from the very scratch but still we are going to try our best to kind of break things down as you can see uh, the, these lessons lessons are uh, created on daily basis now and the introduction lesson one users and identities groups partial on-premises ID so this is going to be like a you got a job you were working in IT for let's say six months and now suddenly this company went to Azure and they want you to do things now you're actually working in your environment and slowly slowly you're trying to learn that from a certification perspective but that's so broad and not targeted towards real world skills then this is going to cover that for you and this is how we are going to help our members uh, who are part of this platform that they can take this course now again uh, a lot of people may be asking is this course free or uh, paid on the website this course is not going to be free this is for our plus members and premium members I, I will remind again that this has no labs so I will highly recommend if you're just going to uh, you know become a member for this courses for Azure or cloud technologies then at least become a plus member uh, then you're not paying for labs because labs are not included right now um, in this uh, this type of program uh, so Another thing is that we're going to be putting uh, a lot of these videos on YouTube channel as well. So uh, yes, the course will be very detailed. We're going to do a lot of things in, 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 this, in this area. We're going to update it, uh, you know, add our own different type of instructors, have different type of skills, projects. Uh, we're not going to put everything on YouTube. Um, that's because we want that support from a lot of our members. Uh, but uh, we are going to put a lot of videos still on YouTube under this course uh, so then people can learn from our community and if you're new to our channel our uh, website I highly recommend you join our discord community because I like to share this type of stuff uh, um, you know ahead of the time in discord community so you get to get this information very quicker and then there are a lot of other de benefits of being in our discord community I'm going to put the link in the description so make sure to go to the description register yourself in the community and then uh, also you know join us thank you so much and after this our instructor will start introducing this course and we will start uploading the videos on regular basis on youtube and in this course thank you hello and welcome to this course of azure technical skills my name is heather and in this course we will learn all the basic components of azure and then try to implement them keeping in mind a real world industrial perspective I assume you already have an intermediate level of understanding about what are networks, what are IP addresses, what is cloud computing in general, and what are the different models of cloud computing. We will talk about most of these basic topics in this course as well, but it would be much better to have a prior understanding of these topics before we jump into the Azure world. So if you don't know about these, please go ahead and read some articles about these so that you have the necessary foundation. 
Now throughout this course we will focus on both the theoretical as well as the practical aspects of cloud computing and then try to align them with real world scenarios. The amazing thing about this course will be that at the end of this course you will not only be able to administer an Azure environment on a basic level but you will also be able to perform some of the most common industrial tasks as one would expect in a cloud environment with ease. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next session.